Justice League number one, written by Scott Snyder, illustrated by Jim Chung. Publisher summary is The Totality Part 1. A brand new era begins here. Comics legend Scott Snyder and Jim Chung launched the Justice League into a cosmos-shaking mystery that would draw out their most terrible foes in ways our heroes couldn't possibly imagine. In this debut issue, Martian Manhunter struggles to protect the team for an incoming threat that will shatter the world as they know it, while a familiar face strikes out on a dark path. Well... It was quite the first episode or first <laughs> issue. Yeah, um, and I mean, let's let's cut right to the chase. I think uh, Charlie and I are on the same page. I don't know how you feel, uh, Dave, about our concern <laughs> yeah. or just well, you guys are concerned and I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that kind of sums it up <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> I mean, they they just they start off so like high up already. Like, where can they possibly go without just making things absolutely crazy? Yeah, I don't exactly. Know. And and guys listening, um, before we go any further, just know that we're going to have some spoilers in here. Um, it's Friday, so hopefully you've read the book by now. If you haven't read Justice League issue number one, we urge you to do so um, before listening any further. So now's your last chance to shut us off and come back later. So right, we'll be guys. here waiting. Yeah, we'll be here. So yeah, Ben, you're absolutely right. We started out, I don't even know if we can call it a high note. It's a complicated note. Um <laughs> <laughs> and you know well, what? Well, I mean, high in like, there's so much going on. Yeah. It's already so intense. So there's, intense. There's absolutely every, you know, everybody mentioned is involved. Uh, yeah. You know, even, even all the, the bad guys are involved. Right. Like, who can they bring in kind of deal? You know, you got this, this multi, you know, the multiverse universe expanding event that happens at all periods of time at the same time. Yeah. You know, we're, we're dealing with non-linear perceptions of time and different descriptions of what this uh, this thing is supposed to be. Yeah, um, yeah. And in the in the same issue, we're getting that it's the the heart of the source wall, like the beginning and the end of everything, and the messenger. The messenger, which I called this weeks ago. Yeah, you did. That this this is the the golden inline skater who's arriving. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't mind a DC Silver Surfer. Like, that's what I'm getting now. Because you know he's going to have a name other than, or it, whatever it is, you know, he's going to have a name other right. than The Messenger. And I mean, I'm assuming at this point that it's going to be some sort of sentient being, just because our heroes at some point talk about reasoning with it. Right, if it, it's, it makes sense. Yeah. If it was just a blast of energy from the source wall, then there's nothing to reason with. It's just, you know, it's coming for you. So it's got to be some sort of sentient being. But there's, you know, in addition to being concerned about how much is going on and how much more intense we can get, I almost feel as though the readers are being asked to do too much. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot going on. Yeah, and and a lot. There's so much going on. It's really hard to care about anything. Multiple battles. Yeah. Uh, starting off the issue, and you know. The Arctic, the jungle, underseas, whatever. Um, and then you've got Lex Luthor showing up who's got his own plan and explaining why he's been fooling uh, Randall Savage all along. You know, so you got that to kind of dwell at, at, you know, dwell on. And, you know, of course, Lex Luthor is, is working for his own best interest. But how does that play into the overall scheme that, that occurred prior to to this introduction of the new Justice League. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like, how does it relate to what we've seen before? And, and what does it mean going forward? I'm not convinced that I care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I will say I do care, but I am very concerned. Because now I feel almost, you know, you can only have, be told that this is the biggest and worst thing you've ever seen so many times before you say, no, it's not. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. it's tough just because that's what they're starting out as. And I realize, you know, a lot of stuff has happened. Yeah. And so, but it's just like, we're instantly going to jump into this. Like, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's, yeah. Spoilers. They blew up the moon within the first half. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, and, and they just didn't care. They're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It doesn't okay. matter at all. 
Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it, it worries me. And while I'm, I, I want to know where it goes. I, I do care, <laughs> but yeah. I, I kind of, I kind of agree with both of you on that. Like, I care, but how they're starting is making me going like, eh, okay, yeah. like in a way, in a not good way. <laughs> yeah. so. Well, I mean, I know that this is a comic book. I know this is a superhero comic book. I know that that part of the agreement is the willful suspension of, of disbelief. But come on, we're getting to the point where we're straining, uh, you know, credibility to, to you know beyond I've ever seen before. That's the thing that's the newest. The, the amount of, of work they're asking me to do uh, to believe what's going on, or to, and still I don't care as much as you do. But yeah, that's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah, right. it, it is a it is a bit of a stretch. And there's, and there's actually a few different stretches here going on. So that's why I'm having a hard time with it. And like I said, just, you know, I realized that this is a post, you know, Barbados, post, you know, Dark Knight's Metal DCU that we're looking at. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm interested that, you know, Scott Snyder came out swinging and, you know, just firing on all cylinders with this first issue. But I'm just concerned, where do we go from here? Mm -hmm. Well, and that's that's a legitimate concern because yeah. what has to happen is some of the stuff has to be uh, backed off from, you know, and, and some of the stuff has to be uh, kind of finagled a little bit because on the surface it appears that everything, everybody's dead and it's the end of the world. You know, yeah. clearly there can't be a story uh, if that's the case. So... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and you know what? It's not all bad. There were some really great moments in this issue. Well, yeah. That's true. We came in here going like, ugh. Yeah, so, but... so let's just shift gears a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So, so I thought it, the dialogue was very witty for the most part. Oh, yeah. You know, there, there are the superheroes cracking on each other, everybody trying to do a Batman impression, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, I was legitimately laughing while I was reading that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That was I, good. I love the, um, what was it, the moon? Oh, the Martian Manhunter moon dragon? Yeah, that was an Brutal. awesome look. Like, I was like, heck yeah. Yeah. And then just like, <laughs> I just love the whole like, all right, Batman, those bombs you put in the moon. Yeah. It was well, like, why would I do that? What? what? <laughs> it's like it's like batman seriously okay. seriously bro <laughs> like, like clearly you yeah. put bombs in the moon like everyone knows this <laughs> you know he's good yeah like the whole like just those little moments were just very entertaining more intense moments like lex luther oh my god yeah Thank that you. whole lex, lex luther uh it's just intense the entire yeah. time yeah and it was it was a cool way of seeing it like because part of me okay so part of me wants to to like back off the like world ending super intense or universe ending super intense thing every time yeah and just go back to some good old evil guy wants to dominate the world okay but i loved seeing lex luther as this like super intense badass so yeah. badass usual yeah. like yeah that definitely worked it was it was pretty cool yeah so yeah i was impressed i mean lex luther beat vandal savage to death like <laughs> that is so <laughs> brutal and it's like you know what like if you look at like the best points in this it's like I don't know. It's like a I don't. It's it's just it's brutal. Giant moon dragon, you know, earth shattering. You know, blast from the source wall. Someone gets beaten to death. There's burning Martian babies. Like this was got in, it all, man. Yeah, this was <laughs> intense. It's like a Cannibal Corpse album. Like <laughs> you know, it's I don't know. It was really and it's funny because like you brought up Dave. It was really funny too. It was it was witty like. Yeah. Incredibly intense, very witty, but still concerning. Right. And yeah. I mean, it kind of hit all the right notes. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. Is it too much too soon? Kind yeah. Of deal. And you so. know what? I, I do think that there's, you know, the potential, not for this necessarily to, to calm down some, but just for it to even out and not be as over the top. Because I like think it could have started slower, to be honest. It, it could have, yeah. Well, they were talking about like how it's like, how long do we have? And they have like more or less a year. And they could have been like, all right, yeah. here, let's ease us in almost to like some just cool villainy things for a little bit and then go, okay, now we got to figure out how we're going to save the universe. Yeah. Like, it's easy on that way. It, as far as like I see it, like just introducing, like I like the opening scene where we had the, you know, team combating this big threat and we had, you know, Martian Manhunters like Overwatch, like connecting them all. Um, telepathically that was really cool 
And then I like the whole Lex Luthor, Vandal Savage exchange ending in Here's the Legion of Doom, which that is so badass. Like, I was so excited to see that, (laughs) Um, especially because at first it was like, you know, Vandal Savage was what was the group? The Injustice Gang. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, (laughs) please don't tell me that we're going to have the Justice League and the Injustice Gang. (laughs) <laughs> I was like, no, come on. And then it's like, Lex Luthor is like, listen up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if we're going to be a super team of villains, we're going to do it the right way. And we're going to have a great, great name, which we've, <laughs> which we've had, which readers are familiar with. <laughs> and it's badass, you know? So I was like, and you have no place here. Yeah. Let's beat you to death. Exactly. Like you don't belong. You, you have terrible super villain team names. Just get the hell out of here. And it's like, you know, that it's, you know, a legion. It was just this epic moment. I don't know. I was I was super eager. And then it's like after we have like, I don't know. So the world ended and everybody's gone, maybe perchance. That's what it looks like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Strong opening, very intense. So, and very good, but yeah. just where do we go from here is the worry for us yeah. and confusion for Dave. Yeah. Yeah. And and now, you know, so issue number two, right? Let's just talk about that for a second. What do you guys need? Um, so Dave, for you to kind of alleviate some confusion and Ben, I guess for the two of us, it's just to right the ship and restore some confidence. What do you guys well, need for that? I'm going to let you guys read first and then you let me know. Yeah. I mean, I need some balance, I think is what it comes down to. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't want to say it needs to slow down, mm-hmm. but it needs to have more to it than just like, look at this crazy big thing and, and now look at the next big, bigger crazy big thing. Like, it needs to be like, it's not like, it, it's something to do with the writing. I'm like, I want Lex Luthor to have some, you know, crazy plan. There's not just like, let's just go big and call our friends in again. We actually have to figure out what's going on. Yeah. And so it needs to almost, for me, just change gears a little bit. Not like totally. But just needs to give me that as well as the uh, just continuously epically big things. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I, I don't see. I hate to say that we need to like tone it down some, but right. that's almost Not how quite I the feel. right word. But like, it just—I yeah. think it just needs to have that. Um, I have to think about it too. Like, yeah. I want to try to be like, "Ooh, what's the next like part of this like master plan that he has going on?" Not just, "All right, who's the next person we're going to come in to like defeat this thing?" You know, I don't want that. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? I definitely do not want for issue two to take place before issue number one. That would be kind of annoying. I don't want to be left hanging until issue number three. <laughs> I want this to be, so you thought the world was exploding, but it didn't because this person just crash landed and then the Justice League met them. And now, you know, of course, they're going to fight a little bit, but then they're going to realize that the Silver Surfer is cool. And we have to watch out for Galactus. So. Oh yeah, that's always what. That, yeah, you know how much I like that scenario. Yeah. Wait, wait. I think I'm getting my my universes confused here. <laughs> um, but I don't know. So, so that's that. That's Justice League number one. Um, spent a little bit more time talking about this week. Um, so, thanks for listening. And be sure to check out thebrazenbowl.com for more great comic book content. Be sure to come back next Friday where we shed a little bit more light on one of the week's most important issues. Until next week, folks. Adios.